Okay, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Krishan uh, address WAC 100. Um, basically, she addressing him about the whole attempted taking situation. And we just going to go from there as I, as we listen to it. That's all I got right now because, child, everybody just showing their tail self today. Everybody showing their tail self. Okay. It's cool. I'm so glad. Um, Blueface father, don't do the internet shit. And we don't really care about what you say, what, because we know what happened to us. We're holding this footage and all that other shit. And, and, and then all our neighbors is three neighbors, two across the street and one on the side of us, bro. They have footage. Better than me, I was so sure. And they have footage. their word. They they saw they watched that shit happen to us. And there's a police report. We're gonna talk to the nigga that actually lives here, that actually owns this house. His name is Jonathan Porter, blue faced baby nigga. <laughs> like, it's it was nothing it, this is some serious shit, bro. Like, we not doing no internet shit. Like, we just letting niggas know that Niggas, yeah, we we caught you. I don't know what's going on with the blinking and all that. I don't know. You on camera, and we're more aware now. And then for to respond, you must be the mother that did it to us, cause you don't that responding to what happened to us, and the way you responded, it's disgusting, bro. But it's okay, bro, because people like y'all, y'all reap what y'all sow. Whatever you put out, that's what you're reaping. So, whack, good luck this year. You hear me? Like, just good <sighs> luck, for real. And then, like, it's cool. Like, everybody okay, is that. being, like, really, like, really, really weird. It's kind of scary, though. Like, like, I don't know if I should expect somebody to kill me or... Or what? Like, like I don't know. Like I don't care. I'm not scared. And for you to try to play in my face and like, oh, you didn't see nothing because it didn't happen. Okay, bro. <laughs> you know, I never understand why people like to stay wherever the danger is, just to attempt to prove a point. Five, five, five in the chat to attempt to prove a point. And then nine times out of ten, somebody or whoever already came, come back again. And it's not the same thing that happened before. It's worse. I will leave. Or I would have every chitty chitty bang bang you can name up in there. Lockiana, Smithiana, uh, you know, whatever they got. I'm going to have it. Drakeiana, you know. All them. You try to talk like the boogeyman. <clears throat> That's cool. You big back ugly. Oh, go ahead. It's cool, bro. You know where I'm at. So it's cool. Like you, everybody right now, bro. Like everybody that's thinking playing with other people's lives is uh. I don't know, some clout stunt shit. Like, that's weird. Like, real shit. Like, right. y'all old big back asses is not. Like, what? Old big back asses is crazy. It's cool. I don't you know why. Camera so shaking. Fun. I don't know why. It's, it's blinking. Cool. I don't know. Hey, Zara, I know it's you. <laughs> God don't let the devil just roll around. You know that one story, bro? Um, it was this girl. Yes. She had a real right? And she kept, kept, like, reporting it and reporting it and reporting it. And when she came out missing and dead, they did a whole documentary on that shit, bro. Mm. 
I'm a sh- I'm not even gonna say what I want to so say. So if I'm that documentary, let me know. You hear me? Ain't no way. Cause I ain't f- with it. You hear me? Like y'all some air niggas. And I'm not a, the type of like y'all not ready to make me run back to Baltimore. You feel me? Krishan is afraid. So afraid that she think it's smart to stay at his house. And it's not. You know, most people that's in a situation where they can't do anything, they don't have the money to do certain things or whatever. That is not Krishan's story at all. I would not be there. (laughs) The fear part of it. Somebody already attempted to rob his daddy. So I'm out. She's scared as hell. No, she's not scared. She's scared as hell. You know what I'm saying? She is afraid. That sounds like a person that is afraid. Like, frightened. <sighs> and then say if, say if Wack didn't have nothing to do with it, and he just chiming in on some weird just to hurt me and my son or his pops out of spite because he mad and jealous that me were in the house. So say if he not even uh, associated with the situation, right? This weird big back ass nigga is happy is happening to us. So all I... All right, so boom. Like, probably like in the beginning when Blue first... Ah, damn, I ain't this mean to do that. Oh. When I first moved in this um, I was in the studio, and mind my business, I'm on the phone with Blue. This nigga walks in here, start, like, tripping for real, but I'm trying to act like I'm still, like, focused up, just recording and shit. This nigga walks up in here and was like, Hey, 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 like he he mad that I'm recording. Like, what's going on? What you mean? What's going on? Why are you here? You feel me? He started trying to pop it. I said, well, Blue's on the phone here. So, like, while I'm trying to pass him my phone, he snatches it. I'm like, the aggression was like, it was, it was something to look out for. You feel me? Like, I'm like, okay, I'm playing it dumb, playing it soft for real. So, Blue, like, yeah. It's it's good, da 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 da. So Wax still was trying to talk, but after he said it's good, it's it's time to go. So while he trying to like talk talk to me, but I don't even really remember because all I hear is just aggression and anger for real. You feel me? So I'm trying to get my phone back for real. I'm like you, you about to hang up on him? Like you putting the phone down? Give me the phone. So then I, I take my phone, he get up in my face, try to go up against me. I'm, I'm keep backing up because he he wants to make contact. Like, that's how bad it was. So I'm like, okay, all right. So I'm I'm still trying to talk on the phone. I'm like, yeah, he's tripping. And he, he like, he start calling me on my name because I'm telling Blue he's tripping. Blue, like, trying to be quiet. So he finally just walks out the house. Okay, cool. Like, but why you ain't leave when he been? And said it was just good. Like, it was like he was trying to let me know something. Like, so, like, for, okay, fast forward. Now, I'm going through some other weird shit. And then he go out public, start saying that shit. All this shit just adding up for real. And it's just starting to get weird. Like, it was already weird. First of all, when Blue went to jail, Krishan announces that they're together. And that she about to move back in her baby daddy, baby daddy house. Throwing out mattresses and all kind of. And then. We all trying to figure out why the hell you at Blue House. You got your own house. So then you say you going to be on lockdown with Blue. And we like, why the hell would you do that? So all the things that we're wondering. I'm sure Wack was wondering too. So I think he went over there to confirm. When he got his confirmation, it, he was pissed because he did not expect that. Okay. So him getting in your face and all that, 
first of all, for Krishan to even live over there, something that needed to be in there with her didn't, didn't make it in the house. And I know, I see, I don't know the laws of uh, Los Angeles and, you know, firearms and things like that. But I would think when you're dealing with gangster niggas, like you got to meet them where they are. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm not understanding why that's not happening. Like, why are we not? I, I never understand it, y'all. Ain't no way I'm going to be over there with nothing. First of all, Blueface house is dangerous in general. Everybody know who he, everybody know he over there. But Blueface ain't afraid of that. Krishan is. And you still stay over there? Nah. You're doing this to yourself. If, if I didn't go through what I went through before that situation that just happened recently, I wouldn't be even, like, feeling any type of way about him. He probably just better. It's just like... It's cool. I'm so glad. Um... I don't know what the rest of this is. Let me go look on Snapchat right quick. Them look like Snapchat words. <laughs> Not words, but how I spell. I want to know what y'all would do in this situation. And does this make sense for you to stay? If it were y'all. Because I'm out. Not because I'm afraid. More so because this isn't worth it. When you got shit to lose... Everything ain't worth it, especially standing in the line of fire. You in his you in his den. You get what I'm saying? The lion's den, to be exact. We're more aware now. And then for it to respond, it did it. But it's luck, for real. And then, like, it's cool. Like, everybody is being, like, really shit. You know that one story, bro? And he just chiming in on some weird shit. Just to say if he not even uh so just went to Jackson. And this boy is good. Talk to me. I'm like you you about to hang up on me because he like he start calling me on my name because I'm telling Blue he's tripping. Blue like trying to be quiet. So he finally just walks out the house. Okay, cool. Like, but why you ain't leave when he been and said it was just good? Like going through some other weird shit. And then he go out public, start saying that's just adding up for real, and it's just starting to get weird. Like, if if I didn't go through what I went through before that situation that just happened recently, I wouldn't be even like feeling any type of way about him. He probably just better. It's just like he all got this aggression out for me. Like, for what? Like, leave me alone. Or in like right now, I'm just loading up right now. You feel me? Like, my baby growing, I got time to record, and yeah, just wait till I drop, that's it, you feel know I me? Mean? Wait till I start putting out my content, what I've been doing, and shit out. like, my football season already start, my first game is May 5th, May 4th, um, my championships game is on ESPN, so tune the fuck in. How I got real shoulder pads, real helmets. Yeah, I'm gonna be on the field. I'm gonna be on the field. So, if you wanna support me? Come to the games be lit and then I'm gonna vlog and mic up some players and put them on my YouTube I'm coming to the <laughs> I'll just do something real quick you know while Blue is handling what he gotta handle and then we come home I'm sh I'm gonna be sh on everybody we're gonna be sh all y'all niggas so f you guys Everybody that's mad right now, I'm so sorry, bitch. <laughs> Damn, you must miss your ex. Get back with your ex or something. Y'all mad I'm with a nigga. Goddamn. Me liking somebody 
should not be pissing you off like that. <laughs> and you, I don't know, this shit is weird. Like, it's like whack one of blue, Carlissa one of blue. <laughs> What's up with y'all? Like, why are y'all with me? <laughs> like, talk to blue. I don't know y'all. I'm from Baltimore. I am from Baltimore. Hey. Y'all too y'all feel too much entitled to be talking to me like I, I don't know y'all niggas. So leave me alone. Bitch. All I have to say is I hope these football games have security. Um, and girl, that's really it. I ain't even gonna lie. We should be used to this. Um, mm, girl, I'ma pray for a chair. I'ma pray for a chair. It's no, I'm trying. It's no way in hell I'm going to stay at a house where a nigga got the access to get in anytime he please who don't like me at all. And I stay and I got my own house and the nigga that I want to stay with is in jail. So you stay there. And to put yourself in, <laughs> in more danger, you, you're telling everybody about your football games. Give me a second. <sighs> Y'all had to, uh, it don't even matter. Y'all won't even know. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I think the way Krishan thinks like that, that's just how she's wired. She's wired to think that way. I think we all are wired to think however we want to think. Oh, my God. And now the camera's high. I cannot make this up. All right, y'all. Unfortunately, the camera's hot. Everything is going on. But anyway, listen. Um, I think that Krishan is literally just wired the way to, 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 wired to think the way she thinks just like we all are. And the decisions that she's deciding to make... Um, are absolutely not the best ones. I'm absolutely not in agreement to nothing she's talking about. And I hope that, um, girl, I hope she stay as safe as she possibly can. And that's really all that I have to say about that. Like, honestly, bro, certain games just don't need to be played. And playing with men or playing with people that don't like you or feel as though you're a threat or whatever is a dangerous game to play. Hello. So these are the games that she likes to play, and I think that she likes it. I think she I think she wants to see how far the fire can go. Because to decide that you're going to stay somewhere where you're not wanted from someone who is out, I think is the craziest thing that you could ever do. Now she's announcing where her football games are. She wants people to show up, and in the process of it, tell people for you. Uh, that's just what Krishan gonna have to deal with and I will be here to watch it that's all I literally have y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below love y'all appreciate y'all hell yeah